The Swiss are apologizing to Oprah after she had a little bit of a tiff with uh, an employee at a high-end store. So she was in Switzerland and uh, she went into this high-end store and saw this handbag that she really liked. It was about $38,000 because it was made out of uh, crocodile skin. And uh, she was talking about her experience. She said the following, I was in Zurich the other day. Uh, in, in a store whose name I will not mention. I didn't have my eyelashes on, but I was in full Oprah Winfrey gear. I go into the store and I say to the woman, excuse me, may I see the bag right above your head? And she says to me, no, it's too expensive. She, the store clerk continues to say, no, no, you can't, you don't want to see that one. You want to see this one because that one will cost too much. You will not be able to afford that. Wrong again, Bob. <laughs> on Friday, we did the sh uh, show where we showed you that Oprah Winfrey makes 77 million a year. Her net worth is I think 2.8 billion dollars. 38 thousand dollars for Oprah is like, what? Okay, boy did she say that to the wrong person. Big mistake. Mm -hmm. Huge. Now Oprah says yes, she wanted to have that pretty woman moment. And if anyone could have done it, it's Oprah. Yeah. She could have literally walked back into the store, not only bought that bag, but all the other bags in the store from someone else, if, she, if that lady works on commission, and said, suck it, right? She could have purchased the store. She could have bought the whole franchise. She has $2.8 billion. She could have been like, okay, I now own the place, and by the way, you're fired. Good luck. And uh, a Wiedersehen. <laughs> and see, so you wouldn't want to be, except so think it's French. Trois pommes. That's the story. Yeah, so let me, let me no ask you that, a right? quick question. Yes. Um, first of all, why would anyone make a $38,000 handbag? That's crazy. Um, but I, I think that racial profiling was obviously an issue here. Like, mm -hmm. she thought, like, oh, look at this black woman. Like, she's not going to be able to afford this highly expensive handbag, right? But then at the same time, I feel like if I were a store clerk there, I would make that assumption about everyone who walks in like anyone who wants to see that expensive ass bag I'd be like hell no you're not gonna see this bag it's like it's very similar to going to a high-end jewelry store and then someone wants to try on a really expensive ring I'd be like no but why not you're what not difference does it make that's what I the don't know maybe, maybe there's like some sort of fear that someone's gonna snatch it up I don't know I don't know like I would I but that, that's the thing I would just make the assumption that no one can afford that bag well, because it's so outrageously priced so do they make racial assumptions of that course yes, and I want. I, I obviously prefaced my okay. Comment so with and that. here's what I mean by that. It's not necessarily that they're racist and they're pro-white or anti-black. It's you know it's in Switzerland. No, they, but they make racial assumptions like this. I guarantee you that if a guy walked in, you know, with his wife and they were in uh, an Arab outfit. Okay, mm -hmm. it's kind of a funny way of putting it, but you know, Saudi people that appear like they're from the Gulf region, Saudi Arabia, etc. They would have let him see that bag. They got no problems against Arabs, yeah, because they got money, right? That's the assumption. Yeah. That's the assumption. Russian guys walk in and say, "I would like to jump in it with that crocodile bag." Right away, let, let you see it. Italian Russian. I there, know huh? that was yeah. a mix. You were surprised <laughs> okay. it didn't go in there. These in the old days it was Japanese. Now it's Chinese. They get to see the bag, right? Here's what I, here's what would happen if I was carrying that bag. Constant fear. Just constant fear. First of all, like I, I have no interest in killing crocodiles from my bag. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I don't, I don't know why crocodile bags are so damn expensive. Um, but it, it just shouldn't even exist. Have you ever tried to wrestle a crocodile, as my son would say? I have not. <laughs> uh, I have so not. that's why it's so hard. You got to go grab the crocodile. You got to take it off. No, look, I, look. This is all about prestige. It's so stupid. No, nobody should get a thirty-eight thousand dollar bag. But one, you know, you know, name the race. It doesn't matter. One mm -hmm. French lady wants to outdo the other French lady. Oh, oh, I do declare. <laughs> English French combo there. Uh, what are you doing with that bag? Okay, anyway, <laughs> let's let's just throw out all the offensive. Uh, accents, uh, and and so they're like, oh, did you get that bag? That's only thirty-five thousand. Oh my god! My crocodile bag is thirty-eight thousand. <laughs> I do declare, right? So that's why, that's why they do it. It's so stupid. Oprah shouldn't be in that store in the first place. On the other hand, she's Ed, a, who she's cares? a multi. No, she's a multi-billionaire. She can do whatever the hell she, she wants. I know, but I I don't know. I I hope that if I'm ever a multi-billionaire, first of all, I hope I'm a multi-billionaire. Okay, but if I ever am. I hope I'm not wasting my money on $38,000 bags.